Victoria Pavlov, I'm the Photoshop artist. Welcome to my studio. Today we will create a very beautiful image in Adobe Dimensions CC and I will be using all 3D images, I, uh, 3D objects I downloaded and licensed from Adobe Stock for free. So guys, yes, for free. Go to Adobe Stock, found free um, 3D objects, download them into your Creative Cloud library and start using those beautiful 3D objects in your Dimension CC workflow right away. So guys, let's jump. Here I have very beautiful sun uh, 3D object. I will click on it just like that and voila. I will switch to select and scale tool and I will scale size down. Just like this. Maybe something more maybe more just let's see just like that i will switch to select and move tool and i will bring sun um my sun up and slightly on a distance maybe something like this here i have another 3d object i would like to work with i will click on this object on this astronaut and polar as this object is too big uh, for my project so i will switch to select and scale tool and i will scale size down just like that maybe a little bit bigger just like that <laughs> so what i will do right now guys i will switch to select and move tool i will move it close to the right just like that and i will bring it down i don't care about um a pl uh, ground plane because it will be not visible but i would like to rotate my astronaut so what i will do i will switch to select and rotate tool and i will rotate it just like that and now I will zoom in just like this. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Maybe, guys, maybe I will bring size down of uh, my orbit. So I will uh, select um, uh, the sun. I will switch to select and scale tool and I will bring size down. Just like this. Perfect. Now I'm completely happy with my composition. Time to customize everything. What I will do, guys, I will click on my uh, astronaut on each properties and I will apply the um, material to my 3D object. I will switch to um, starter assets and here I have all materials I will work with uh, today. So first of all, I will click on fabric and I will click on this very glossy material. What I would like... Uh, to do, I would like to apply all glossy material because a glossy material will reflect uh, my sky. So, also, guys, try to be unique. Try to apply different material to each um, detail of your uh, 3D object. Don't try to be boring. Apply same uh, material to everything. Uh, let's see. Um, so what I will do, guys, I will go uh, tab by tab to apply different material. So now I will click on pack and here I have gelatin material. So now my, um, I applied a kind of, a kind of um, transparent uh, material to uh, astronaut backpack and I think it's interesting. I will be back to his properties here i have a helmet top and i will apply same gelatin um, material <laughs> very very nice um also i have head light and i will apply a glowing material to it it's very beautiful also let's go and apply different different materials beautiful 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 so what i will do right now guys i will apply i will click on his um helmet just like that screen of his helmet and i will switch to my libraries i will switch to adobe stock license library here guys i have all images i downloaded and licensed from adobe stock you can use any image you like so here I have one image I would like to use. I will click on it and I will drag into my uh, astronaut's helmet uh, screen. I will resize it just like that. And voila. Definitely I can adjust properties, but I will do it later. 
I will switch back to my uh, scene uh, panel. I will click on environment uh, tab and here I will have um, another uh, image I downloaded and licensed from Adobe Stock. I will click on it and drag this image into my document just like that. Guys, what I can do right now, I can um, click on match image. Let's do it. I will click on match image just like that and I will ask Adobe Dimension to match uh, image light. After I will click OK and voila. I just look at this. First of all, I will resize the size of my document just like that. And just look at these guys. Please don't scream. We will adjust. What we will do, we will click on environment. We will increase a, a light intensity, lot rotation. I will rotate it just to have more light uh, comes out of uh, the sun. Common sense, right? And now, guys, what I will do. I will click on my sun, I will expand, and I will increase glow just like this. Guys, I love this image a lot. I will be back to my scene a properties panel. I will click on my um, astronaut. I will click on helmet um, screen, expand it. Not helmet tab, I'm sorry. Helmet screen, I will expand it. I will click on my graphics and I can increase or decrease metallics. Roughness, just like that. And I love everything about this image. Also, guys, what I can do, definitely I can um, increase or decrease uh, light intensity at any time. I can change a rotation of my light at any time. So let's do something like this, yes or maybe something like this. Yes, I love, love, love this image. Maybe, guys, um, let's see. I would like to bring more um, splash of light to his uh, outfit. So I highlighted this part of his outfit. I will switch to my starter assets and I will apply same gelatin material. And voila, guys, how beautiful is it? So guys, after you will say, okay, I'm happy with everything, I'm happy with composition, with light, with uh, reflection, with everything, I'm ready to render my project, simply click on Render uh, tab, specify as usual or a properties in here, click Render, and voila, you are ready to go. So guys, Thank you very much for being with me. Super appreciated. If you have any questions, just ask. I will be more than happy to answer to any of your questions. And I will see you later. Bye, guys.